Now to a wild story out of Florida. Huge pythons are taking over part of the state, slithering right into people's backyards. And now Florida is declaring open season on the predators, inviting people from all over the world to help, or from the U.S., to help call them. ABC's Steve Osinsami has more from Miami. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Amy. Wildlife officials tell us the problem just isn't in the Everglades. They found these large snakes in parks and in people's homes, and they're hoping that this hunt will help. Florida authorities are desperate to get rid of these snakes, calling this a snake hunting mission. No experience necessary, no license needed, just a gun or a knife. By some estimates, nearly 150,000 pythons are living in the Everglades alone, but the snakes haven't stopped there. They're starting to come back into civilization looking for easy food, our pets, and that's typically what they're feeding on cats, small dogs. Snake wrangler Scott Mullen says families are now finding them in parks, high grass, and even backyards. And he's been busy making house calls. When people call about a python, it's a totally different sound on the phone. You can hear it in their voice that they're very excited, very nervous. Pythons are native to Southeast Asia, but experts think that residents who couldn't handle them as pets set them loose. She's not happy. Last year, they captured the largest ever, more than 17 and a half feet and 160 pounds. Owning one is now against the law. You're having to use all your muscle, aren't you? Yeah. So far, nearly 500 amateur hunters have signed up for the month-long python challenge. Whoever catches the longest snake wins $1,000. Whoever catches the most, $1,500. Participants in this python challenge have it cut out for them because they're going to have to go out into the wilds, into the Everglades, to capture these animals. He thinks the vast majority of hunters won't find a single snake, but will find plenty of mosquitoes and alligators too. Amy? Hmm, sounds tempting, Steve. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'm glad there are others willing to hunt the yes, pythons. Yes, me too. <laughs>